Hey, good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Rooted Living Homestead. Um, I don't know where you guys are. I'd love to hear in the comments below where you guys are watching from. We're in Oklahoma. And um, it is really, really hot right now. <laughs> We're all, all of us Okies are kind of suffering. We've had temperatures definitely in um, the 100 and up range the past, oh, I don't know. Feels like forever. Probably last um, last couple weeks, maybe last week or so. Um, so we've definitely hit the dead of summer, and um, we have been trying to figure out ways to keep our chickens nice and cool. I would love to hear in the comments below what are you guys doing. Um, those of you who are in hot climates, what are you doing to keep um, your animals nice and cool? I know that um, other animals, you know, like mists and stuff and. We set up a sprinkler the other day for ours, but they don't like the water, and so then they just tend to avoid it. So um, Kenneth came out and set up a fan the other day, and so we've been putting, um, we've been turning the fan on every morning for them, just to try to give them somewhat of a breeze. Um, so hopefully that'll help. We ended up, we actually lost a hen the other day. Um, these are our laying chickens, um, and we, I came out the other day, and she had been just fine, and then I was mowing, and I found her. So. Um, you know, that's never fun. I was, I'm, that was kind of like our first, I guess it was our first loss on the homestead as far as animals go. And you know that's going to happen, but it's never fun having to talk to the kids and explain to them. Um, so anyway, we, we lost her and we're, we're positive it was due to the heat. I mean, it's just been ridiculously hot and she had been just fine. And, um, yes, they have plenty of food, plenty of water and plenty of shade, but this Oklahoma heat is just it's torture so um anyway so we've been just doing everything we can to keep them nice and cool and comfortable until maybe hopefully we'll have a have a heat break soon so the project today for the homestead is um i'm actually pretty excited about it because um i was so happy with the harvest that we had on our onions we had so many onions that we harvested and i was so grateful for that and so today I'm gonna to start the process of putting some of them away and storing them. Follow along, we are going to hang them and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna store them in my house for just the onions that I'm gonna keep for just our everyday use. So stay tuned. Okay, so we have our onion here. There's still some dirt right here in the roots and there's some of this layer that's just kind of sloughing right off. So to start to prepare them to hang, we're gonna make sure all that dirt's off and we just kind of Slough away at this outer skin. Whatever wants to fall off naturally, let it go ahead and fall off naturally with all the excess dirt. Okay, now we're going to cut these roots down. There's no need to keep them this long. Just going to cut them down. About like that. And then we don't need this string to be this long. We do, we do need some of it. But for right now, I think I'll leave it about this long. So I don't know, a good two, three inches. We're just gonna cut off the rest. I'm gonna do that and toss them in this here bowl. If you can't tell, this is a whole different day. I did not end up getting my onions strung today, just some other things came up. So we're back at it again today. Um, I have a ton of onions sitting on my countertop <laughs> already and prepared to be strung. And I don't think I actually went over this the other day. So let me reiterate. The way you know that your onions are done and nice and cured after those two to three weeks is, um, you know, the stalks were super long. Um, this is cut, prepared to string. And they're, you can hear them. They're just very thin and papery. Um, the roots are all dried. A lot of the outer skin will start to slough off. You can just tell there's absolutely no moisture left and they're very, very firm. So that tells us that they're nice and ready to be stored. So I am gonna do a few things. I do have a food dehydrator and I would love to try to dehydrate some and make some onion powder. Um, also, I will be 
dicing a bunch up and freezing them. But this way is going to be the way that I store them. That, that way I'll be able to use them fresh. Um, so I have a string. Um, just make sure you get a, a good cotton string. I've got it tied here to my countertop just because that's an easy spot that I have. So wherever is easy for you. I have a knot tied in the end. And to tie the very bottom one, you're going to start at the very bottom. And you're going to take one. And I actually tie the string to this onion um, to start off giving it a good foundation for everything else to hang on to. Okay, so I have this one actually tied to the onion and that'll just kind of give us a good base because the rest of the onions are going to clump on top of here. Now, um, they're not all going to clump on here. I'm going to put just enough to probably what I might use in a week and I'll have different clumps hanging um, in my kitchen. So on top of this, after you have your good base, you're going to take another one and you're literally just going to start stacking them and you're going to wrap your stem around that string a few times and I, I ended up pulling it down and then twisting your onion over top of it so that holds it pretty firm and then we're just going to continue to do that on up. So here's a nice good string up of onions. Now I'll probably, I was thinking about where to hang these. We do not have a huge house. We definitely do not have a huge kitchen. Um, we don't have an actual pantry, which is where I would suggest, um, you need some good airflow. Um, if I had a pantry, that's where I'd put them. I realized though, I was thinking the day that I do have a corner over kind of, that's not really used much. And so I may actually string them over there. They're not going to be out of the way. There's good airflow. So I think that's probably where I'll string them. So I'm going to get to string in some more.